comics and uh, today I'm just going to go through uh, some of the comics that I've been reading lately and what I think about them. Here we have Trinity, issue number one. It's written and drawn by Jason Manipal. Basically, a really simple story. Uh, Batman and Wonder Woman go around the new Superman's house for dinner. Um, basically, it's just to get you to catch up. This is more like um, one of those rebirth one shots than an actual issue one. It just goes through saying that this Superman's from a different universe, it's not the Superman that Batman and Wonder Woman know. Uh, I'll probably continue to read this digitally, unless uh, some of the covers are really cool. Uh, I might pick them up. But yeah, I wasn't blown away. Batman issue number six. Um, Batman issue one was really cool. I think I've talked about uh, Batman issue one before. Um, issues two, three, four and five were meh. Uh, <laughs> that's the best way I've got to explain those. Um, but I was really digging um, Gotham Girl, she seemed really cool and I wanted to know a lot more about her. And then I had issue number 6 which is an epilogue and it's basically mostly about Gotham Girl and now I want to see absolutely none of her. At all. Although I am looking really forward to the uh, ninth issue of the Batman series where he goes to Arkham Asylum. Uh, from what I can tell from the solicitations, it sounds really interesting. Um, I'm not buying the um, Batman Detective Comics and Nightwing monster crossover. Um, just because to do a crossover so early is really annoying and I'm voting with my wallet. Detective Comics, uh, the first story arc of this is really good, uh, issue 940, nice cool cover here. Uh, it's a really good story, um, if you haven't read it I'm sorry there will be spoilers. Um, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with Red Robin, um, who's taking him, where is he, uh, that's going to be really interesting to find out. Uh, I'm liking all the characters, Orphan, uh, Spoiler, even Clayface, they're all like really fucking cool characters in this, they work really well. The writing's really good, I thought this would be a story that I'd like, uh, I spoke about this before um, the rebirth started, uh, it's written by the same guy who did the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, miniseries, and he seems to be able to do team books really well, and uh, this one is no exception, uh, awesome story, definitely continue reading this, uh, much better than the uh, current Batman one. Flash, issue number 6. Uh, this story is fucking awesome. This issue in particular is wicked. Williamson's doing a really good job writing the Flash. I personally didn't see the twist of who Godspeed actually is coming. I was completely blown away. It was definitely a shock to me. I don't know if any of the other guys saw it coming, but uh, personally I didn't. Um, I thought it was really good. Uh, definitely going to continue in with this Flash series. Surgeon X, issue number 1. Um, I didn't even finish this. It's fucking boring. Um, the story seems a bit incoherent. The art's not all that great. I honestly don't know what it is, but this, like I said, this story is just boring. Um, I couldn't even make it through the whole thing. Briggsland, I've read the first two issues of this now. Uh, here's issue number one. Um, to be honest, it's not all that. I mean, it's it's okay. Um, hopefully it'll pick up. Um, I've already ordered the first four issues, so I might as well read the next two. I know a lot of people like this, and AMC are uh, turning this into a TV show, maybe. The story's really slow paced, not really much is happening. The art's fine, not great either. All round, uh, okay comic. Uh, and the amount of comics that are out at the moment, I don't really want okay. I need you know, awesome, amazing comics to keep me coming back and spending my money on them because uh, there's too many great comics out there to spend your money on okay comics. Descender, issue number 15. Uh, this one is just another uh, backstory issue like the previous two and this time it's giving backstory on Andy and Effie uh, of what happens to them in the 10 years before this issue. I'm really enjoying these uh, little backstory issues. It uh, just gives you um, more in-depth um, information about the characters and what makes them like they are now. Uh, again, the art is superb. Justin Gwen's art is just fucking amazing and Jeff Lemire's writing is also on top. If you haven't read this yet, please pick up the trade for volume 1. It's really good. Empress, issue number 6, uh, the penultimate issue. I'm really enjoying the series, really cool. Uh, awesome intergalactic space adventure. Stuart Immune's art, really cool. Uh, like every other Mark Miller property, uh, you could easily make this into a movie, I feel. In this issue, they finally get to where they wanted to go, um, but obviously an ultimate issue so there's got to be a, some sort of plot twist which there is so the final issue I think is going to be really cool I can't wait to read that Birthright Volume 3 uh, this story has been going on for a while I think the uh, fourth volume will be coming out soon uh, if you don't know any background on Birthright basically um, this young boy um, goes missing and it turns out he's gone to a, like another sort of dimension um, but in this other dimension time goes a lot quicker 
and um, he's only been gone like a year Earth time, but there it's been so long he's actually grown into a man, he's now like this big warrior. The story is progressing all the time, there's always twists and turns in this, it keeps you engaged, it's just a fantastic story, art's beautiful. If you're into fantasies and all that sort of stuff, this is definitely uh, a book for you. Scott Pilgrim, Volume 2, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, I recently read um, Volume 1 and Volume 2, and both of them are in colour edition. I'm really enjoying the colour edition. Uh, if you're going to read Scott Pilgrim, I definitely recommend the colour edition. It really adds something to the comic. It just makes the art pop so much more. Uh, it helps with story cohesion, you can see differences from like day into night, and it just makes more of an uh, enjoyable reader experience. Uh, volume 1 is really amazing, absolutely love the story. Volume 2 uh, is not as good. Still a great story, obviously as I've said before, I absolutely love the movie, and these graphic novels are great. And when you defeat one of the evil exes, they uh, leave coins, and he's like left him 14 bucks all in coins, and he's complaining because it's in coins. You know, he gets this skateboard from this item box and he's complaining because he can't use it because he doesn't know how to skate. I'm also really enjoying the extras, like in this it shows you like pictures of the real places, so like if you're a Canadian you'll know these places, and it just shows you like a comparison of a photo of the real place and what it looks like in the comic. And obviously you also get uh, more backstory on the characters themselves in this issue that you don't see in like the movie. I'm going to be honest, I'm usually like a purist when it comes to things like this, like uh, Star Wars. I prefer the original cut than the freaking super bullshit special effects rubbish. But, um, oh man, like, how can you not like, like this more in colour than in black and white? Um, it just stands out so much more and, like I said, makes the uh, reading experience so much more enjoyable. Uh, if you haven't read this before or if you want to reread it, I highly recommend getting the uh, colour edition. Uh, obviously they're more expensive, but um, these are really cool fucking hardback books. Here's a comparison of the size, obviously um, it's, they're slightly bigger than um, the original um, paperback editions, uh, but it's a little bit smaller than the usual size of a comic. Uh, as you can see it's quite thick, uh, I think it takes about two hours to read each one, can't wait to read volume three. Alright, that's all for this episode, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know what you've been reading, let me know what you think of what I've been reading. Uh, like, subscribe and all that bullshit. Alright, peace out.